What's up, y'all? And Kata, Kevin. This video is really geared towards people who are having trouble with learning Old English. Like, how does one actually sit down and, you know what? I really want to learn this language. What do I do? Well, you're going to need two things. One of which I've been saying time and time again is to get a grammar book. You're going to need it because without it, uh, you're not going to understand the language. Simple as that. Not having a grammar book it would be like trying to represent yourself in court. All right, uh, you, you can't be your own lawyer. Okay, so that said. So you're going to need two things, one of which is a grammar book, or also known as a primer. I mean, yes, there are a little subtleties with the two, but you're going to need, you know, a grammar or a primer. You're going to need one of those. Next, you're going to need a dictionary. Dictionaries are good, because they tell you what words mean. Okay, so you have the grammar or the primer, and you have your dictionary. Fantastic. What now? So the next step would be to take a text that you, that you like from the old, old English corpus out there, then pick a sentence and look up each word in that sentence, okay? As tedious as that may sound, that's one way of learning Old English, okay? That's what I did, okay? And back in my early days of learning Old English, that's what I did. I would go through a text, any text, and just go through a sentence, a few sentences, and, and I would look up each word and, and find out what it means or whatnot. Um, and then by practicing doing that over time, uh, it got to the point where I don't need to look up uh, a word anymore because once I see it, bang, I know what it means. And I, and I know what number and gender and uh, case it's in. So that's important. You're going to need a grammar book again. You're going to need a grammar primer. And also you're going to need a dictionary, okay? I do have a video. Uh, of showing you guys of how to use the Bosworth and Toller Anglo-Saxon Dictionary. Um, and the cool thing with that site is that it has a grammar book by Joseph Wright, the second edition, uh, Old English Grammar, uh, second edition by Joseph Wright, uh, who taught Tolkien. Uh, that grammar is embedded into the site. Uh, so when you look up a word, it'll have like uh, in the center of the page there'll be um, there'll be like a, a, um, a sections uh, symbol or whatnot you click on the section and it brings you to the section of, of the grammar in that book and whatnot which is really cool so just to reiterate to learn Old English seriously you need a grammar book or primer and you need a dictionary and and the method would be looking up each word in a sentence as tedious as that may sound looking up each word in the sentence and finding out what each of the words mean and then figure out the, the case system within that sentence and whatnot and you, you start with very simple stuff you know like um, there are a lot of grammars out there a lot of primers out there old ones though that they can you can get for free okay there are a lot of them out there you just have to go find them anyway uh, that's the end of this video very short video I just want to put that out there because uh, I can imagine the struggle uh, with learning old English but yeah grammar book Dictionary, looking up each word in a sentence. That's the main thing. So once again, grammar book, dictionary, looking up each word in a sentence, okay? Three things. Three things. Please do it. If you really want to learn this language seriously, it'll take time, it'll take effort, it'll, and it takes a lot of patience, especially with an older language, especially if you're an English speaker where we don't have the inflected case system. It's a foreign thing. But if you know German already, or if you happen to know a bit of Icelandic, yes, that will help you. But at the same time, you can't like say, oh, but, but it's, ju it's just like German. Oh, but it's just like Icelandic. No, you, you, you have to treat Old English on its own terms. To understand anything, you have to understand it on its own terms. Because no two languages are the same, okay? Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.